we are on day 18 of waiting for a placement for our special needs child. Carrie Spark sent me this video on Monday, recording it in the parking lot outside the ER at McLaren Hospital in Lapeer, while she waited with her 12-year-old special needs son, Casey. If my child came in with a broken foot, they wouldn't make him sit there for 18 days to wait to treat it. But because the way our state is handling mental health and special needs mental health, this is where we're at. Carrie and her wife adopted Casey eight years ago, and since birth, he's had the deck stacked against him. He was born with fetal alcohol syndrome and today suffers from a whole host of mood disorders and intellectual disabilities that affect every second of his life. When he gets upset, he calls them tornadoes in his brain. That's how he describes it, and he can't stop them, so he's trying to find ways to stop them. We talked with Carrie earlier this week, just outside the McLaren ER, while she waited for a psychiatric bed for Casey. She's been waiting here since he attempted suicide on June 10th. He was darting out towards the road to try to run in front of cars. He's like, I'm just going to jump in front of them and they can hit me. When she brought him here, no one at McLaren Hospital doubted that Casey needed help immediately. There was just no help to give him. This is not a psychiatric hospital, and all the private psych facilities in the state said they were already full or... His acuity is too high. They don't have enough personnel to handle his special needs. So he's, he's basically too sick to be admitted. Yeah, and because he is special needs, he's being singled out and declined for help. So here, they can't treat Casey. They can just hold him and try to keep him safe. We've had some really rough days where, unfortunately, he had to be in restraints majority of the day with small breaks in between because he just was not safe at all. For Casey and dozens of other children who have been turned away, this is their last hope. The Hawthorne Center in Northville is the only state-run psychiatric hospital for children. And even though demand for treatment here is high, funding is not. While Hawthorne's big enough to treat up to 118 kids, it's funded to treat just 55, and today is treating just 46. The Department of Health and Human Services, which runs the hospital, refused an interview for this story, and so did Governor Gretchen Whitmer. But at least one lawmaker did not duck our questions about Hawthorne and says it's clear tonight it should be helping more children. I toured Hawthorne Center a few years ago, and they only use about 50% of the building. It's in bad shape. Representative Mary Whiteford is a Republican from St. Clair County who says now is the time to rebuild Hawthorne and take it from treating about 50 kids to 100. She's proposing that the state use some of the federal COVID relief funds to double the number of children being served there today. That this is a big issue. And that's why I really appreciate that you brought it up. People don't care until they care, until they're actually faced with the gut-wrenching feeling of being a parent, not getting the help that they know their child needs, they don't know. More psych beds doesn't solve your problem if it's not coupled with home and community-based services. Kyle Williams is the legal director for Disability Rights Michigan, a nonprofit group that fights for the rights of children like Casey. He says that while we don't have enough beds for children today, the problem is bigger than just beds. His organization recently sued the state on behalf of seven families whose children fell into crisis after approved in-home psychiatric treatment never came. Williams says if we aren't helping children like Casey on the front end, there will never be enough beds to treat them when they're in a crisis. We can judge our success in Michigan with our community mental health program by minimizing the amount of kids and adults that need to be in psychiatric care. Casey's mom says it's clear tonight we need to do both improve the community treatment that can keep kids like hers healthy at home and make sure we have enough beds to treat them when they aren't. There is no safety net because we're still sitting here and we have no clue how long it'll be. How long do we have to keep waiting for help? The answer finally came this morning after 12-year-old Casey was finally admitted here at the Hawthorne Center after waiting 21 days. We're in Northville. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.